Brak Toyahawa, Brak Toyahawa Shai, Brak Toyahawa, Brak Toyahawa Shai, Brak Toyahawa, Brak Toyahawa Shai, Yahawa, Bashem, Yahawa Shai, Bashem, Akwal Kadesh, double honors and salutations to the elders and apostle Grimm is doing real well. This is Brak Nash DC Camp. Yeah, Shalom also to the Akiyam tribe of four corners of the earth, preaching the gospel from Ashak Yahawa Shai in his last days. Yeah, so, uh, you already see in the background. The elements, the elements, the elements, yeah. So, uh, you know, we're getting closer to the hour of temptation. All right, so I can just uh, remember, you got to prepare your mind to uh, give it your all to serve the Lord in spirit and in truth because uh, we're all going to be tested. And you also know that you have to go through that trial, okay, because your faith has to be tested, you know, right, by adversity. And, uh, the Lord is going to, you know, put us through the situation so that uh, we can be proven to be acceptable. All right, you got to make your body a living sacrifice. That's the reason why you get this knowledge. All right, you're getting it hot and fresh from the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. So you shouldn't consider it strange or when you're being tested by the Lord because always remember your salvation is at stake. And you have to make a stand to accept the chastening of the Lord, all right? You have to build up your faith in these last days for you to be able to make it through that straight gate. So I'm going to read the book of uh, Revelation chapter 3. I'm going to look at the verse 10. Okay, it says, uh, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, all right? Because you remember, you have to suffer to get this work of the Lord done the right way. It requires effort. All right, you're going to experience displeasure. Okay, then it says, "I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation." Yeah, so the hour of temptation is all on the horizon. I read this Maxine, you know, situation. They keep pushing and pushing and pushing. Uh, yeah, because uh, Esau is not going to let up until, uh, you know, he achieves his goal. But uh, he's not going to really achieve it because the Lord is going to shut him down. All right. So, uh, always remember, you're going to get tested. You're going to be put in a tough position where you have to uh, make a stand for the word of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. All right. You always know that you have to be solid as a rock. All right. Your faith built upon that foundation with the Lord our Shai has already set before you alright, we shall come upon all the world yep, so the hour of temptation is coming upon all the world yeah, so a lot of folks are going to lose their minds alright, they're going to have, uh, you know all, all types of uh, stressful situations they cannot cope with yeah, and a lot of folks are going to give up, man, they're going to give up they're going to fold when they're being presented with all the you know, pressures of this uh, tyrannical system we're living under. Yeah, so folks are going to fold, you know, check the, the jab scene and the <laughs> mark of the beast. <laughs> and then they're going to go ahead and uh, worship the image of the beast. Yeah, so uh, you just have to pray that the Lord will make you stand in the last day. All right, so it says uh, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Yeah, so the man of the Lord are not going to be exempt. From this uh, tribulation, man, you have to go through this fire, okay? You have to go through this difficulty that the Lord is bringing upon the face of the earth. So, uh, just like the Lord Yahweh Shai had to drink of that bitter cup, you had to. You know, the Lord Yahweh Shai talked about, uh, you know, his situation, all right? Now, I'll read it to you real quick. So this is from the book of uh, Matthew, chapter 8, verse 20. All right. It says, uh, you know what? I'm going to read that from verse 19. No, start from verse 18. Matthew, chapter 8, verse 18. Now when Yahushai saw great multitudes about him, he gave commandment to depart unto the other side. And a certain scribe came and said unto him, Master, I will follow thee 
whithersoever thou goest. And the Havashai said unto him, The foxes have holes, and the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. Yeah, so remember, we're all going to drink of that cup. So brothers, prepare accordingly. Yeah, so uh, it's going to be a, you know, a, a, a moment of revelation for a lot of brothers that you've been prepared for these difficult and dark times that's, that's coming upon the face of the earth. And uh, y y your fate is going to be uh, increased, it's going to be boosted by the testimony of Hamashiach, Yahushai. Yeah, so all those situations, you know, you've uh, been through, always remember... Lord knew exactly <laughs> what you're going to be dealing with before you were born. So always uh, don't think it's strange. You know, brother's been through that situation of being homeless before. And, uh, you know, the Lord's always going to prepare a way out for brothers. All right. So you don't have to uh, give in to the system. Okay. You have to fight earnestly for your faith. You have to contend for your faith. All right. So the book of uh, Matthew Chapter 7, if you read uh, verse 13 and 14, it says, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat. Yeah. So remember, times of... Uh, the stress is coming upon the earth, so that's like I wish I said, the stress of nations. Yeah, so you have to make sure that uh, you keep uh, your oil, you know, you keep your oil <laughs> in the oil level, you know, at a, at a, you know, at, at a threshold that's acceptable before the Lord. All right, you can't be running with a half a tank. You got to have a full tank. You got to have these words in you at all times, okay, because, uh, what this world has to offer is nothing compared to what the Lord has set before you. Okay, so you're going to be tested and you have to endure. Okay, you have to endure this uh, straight, you know, this straight up path that you're going to be uh, embarking on. Because the world right now is uh, basically crying, you know, for for checks and, uh, and stimuluses. You know, they want to open, open up their businesses so they could make a living. But they don't understand that uh, there is no coming back economically okay, for the world under the rulership of these Edomites, okay, and the heathen. All right, so uh, you got to wait on the Lord, you know, to, uh, to get us out of this situation. Verse 14 says, uh, Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it. Yep, so always remember, this is not a journey for many people. This is a journey for the few. All right, and the Lord has narrowed it down. The most high is trimming the fat. All right, so like a lot of folks can't stand living in the wilderness. They can't stand living in the forest. You have to understand the mindset, okay, that, uh, <laughs> you know, to sort of our people we're having, when they are coming out of the land of Egypt, they kept murmuring and murmuring and murmuring, but not understanding that uh, the Lord is just building up, <laughs> building up the faith of those that were going to be able to make it true. Yep, and the, the ones that couldn't make it, they got purged. All right, the ones that kept complaining and giving the Moses and uh, and uh, you know the leaders a hard time, they got purged. All right, forty years. All right, that's what it took, you know, or should have taken a few days. Yeah, so uh, the Lord is uh, is powerful to deliver our people out of all circumstances. All right, so always remember that. Then another precept be from the book of uh, Second Ezra. All right, Second Ezra, chapter seven. Yeah, because you can't afford. You know, to uh, complain about your situation when you know you're being tested, you know, you're being built up, all right, for the kingdom, okay? Because the Lord has to try his precious jewels, 
All right, so uh, Second Ezra chapter 7. Uh, let's see. I'm going to read from uh, verse 6. So it says, There is also another thing. A city is builded and set upon a broad field and is full of all good things. Yep, so that is the kingdom of heaven. All right. And then it tells you that uh, the entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall, like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water. And that's the preaching of this gospel, all right, doing the work of Amashak Yahushai, with all sincerity and intelligence of mind, you're putting yourself at risk, okay, by doing the work of the Lord, all right, because the leaders of this world don't, uh, <laughs> they hate the Lord so bad, they even hate you too, so always accept the bitterness, all right, so you have to uh, endure, you have to make sure that uh, you understand what you're getting into, you have to count the cost, all right, verse 8, and only, and one only path between them, all right, and one only path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go there at once. Yep. So you can't have no baggage when you're doing the Mosai's work. You have to get rid of all that uh, baggage you know you had in the world, man. Because uh, during the time of Jacob's trouble, you know, if you want to travel far, <laughs> you got to travel light. All right, so you got to let go of the cares of this world. And then, Stein says, if this city now were given unto a man for inheritance, if he never shall pass through the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? Yep, so you're going to get tested, okay? You're going to get tested. So always remember that. It's a, it's a situation you have to expect. So don't, uh, you know, shrivel up you know, when it's time to, uh, you know, be as pilgrims upon the face of the earth, expecting a miracle, you know, to, you know, to, uh, to be at the end of your journey. You know, they always talk about the light at the end of the tunnel, especially a dark tunnel. Yeah, so that's exactly what we're looking for. What you have to set your cares upon the kingdom of Hamashiach Yahushai. So, uh, to keep the lesson short, uh, precept will be from the book of uh, Ecclesiastes, uh, chapter 7, and uh, verse 12. It says, For wisdom is a defense, and mourning is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. Yep. So you need to hold on to wisdom, Akim, in these last days because whatever money you have, <laughs> it's not going to be as valuable as it's going to be, you know, as it once was. Right? Because the system is changing and, uh, you know, you're going to be isolated, you know, from uh, this so called economical system. That he's just trying to bring. So I read the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 12 again. For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. So you're seeking to have that eternal life, immortality. So you have to hold on to the spiritual knowledge that the Lord Yahushai has said before you in his holy scriptures. Yeah, because the most valuable knowledge you have in these last days is this word of the Lord. All right. So that's just the point that I came. You know, don't be uh, don't be afraid. You just have to pray and have faith. You know, and uh, you know you're gonna fast when the time you know permits, because the Lord has to fine tune your spirit. So that's the I came. You know, hope you've been edified and uh, shalom.